Hey guys, um, I am whew, doing this video because I need to. For one, because I, I need to get the word out as far as I can, and two, my own sanity. I need to get this out of my head as much as as possible. So my only request from you is for you is that you share this video. Um, especially, you know, if you're if you have children, um, I need you to share this video. I'm gonna try very hard not to make this video uh, forever long, but those of you who know me, you know, um, a few years ago, my daughter, my youngest daughter was sexually assaulted at school. And I'm talking about it now because, you know, court takes a long process, right? And we're finally in what they call mediation stage, right? Discovery phase and blah, blah, blah. And so we had a, a hearing last week and my mind is, is totally um, a mess because of what I heard the lawyer say. And it was so disturbing that I had to I had to share it with everyone. Now my, my children, you know, this is public information, so feel free to Google Trace Crossings Elementary School in Hoover, Alabama, and feel free to figure out who the principal was between the year uh, 2017 and 2018. So all of this is public information is right there. So, you know, not putting any names out there because last time I put the principal's name out there, he threatened me. Yeah. And forced me to take the video down. And because I, I did it on Facebook Live, I took it down and the video, I you know, is gone now. Which I should not have done. So we're sitting at mediation and, and my lawyers were in, we were in our separate room and they were in a separate room and their insurance companies were over there and blah, blah, blah. So everybody that was involved in the case had different places where they were. So I don't know how much of our conversation they were able to hear through the walls, if they had glasses against the door, I have no idea. But I could hear them. Not necessarily their words, but I, I do have some of their words that I will share with you. But I was very disturbed at the laughter that they found something funny to laugh at in the middle of a sexual assault case of a child. So y'all sitting, excuse my attitude right now, but I really don't care. So y'all in the court talking to the judge about a child and y'all find something funny. I was like, wow, what the hell could be funny? I don't see anything funny. I don't think any parent in the world would find something funny. Because my child, you know, was not assaulted once. She was assaulted October, November, December, January, and February is when I found out what happened, what had been happening every day on the playground the teachers involved teachers right there teachers i 
I had been telling them since October after the first time having to literally drag her to school, kicking and screaming, not just saying that because that's what parents say, oh, they were kicking and screaming. No, I had to really put her in the car, holding on the doors, screaming and, and hollering like, what is going on? Why don't you want to go to school? This is a, a kindergartner, right? She was in kindergarten just a few months ago at another school in Alabama, but then they put her, Trace Crossings Elementary School in Hoover, they put her in first grade. First grade. Hmm. I was like, okay, well maybe the other school got her wrong. I don't know, I have been homeschooling my children, my oldest since she was in the fourth grade. Really, this is new to me being in the school system and birth dates and blah, blah, blah. I don't know. And things are very different in New Jersey and New York when it comes to, you know, when they start school and when they, when, you know, when, what grade or whatever. So I was like, okay, first grade. But she didn't want to go to school. She started off very happy, she loved it, and then all of a sudden it went to terror every day and i'm like you know Molly, what's going on i don't want to play with these girls i don't want these girls near me I tell the teacher teacher i mean she just said she don't want to play with, with these girls what, what what's going on i don't want to play i don't want to play now my child is on the autism spectrum i don't know if my child was targeted because she was had autism i don't know if she was targeted because she was black i don't know if she was targeted because she had two moms I don't know. Pick one. The fact is that she was being tortured and terrorized every single day. Every day. And now, to make a long, painful story shorter, we the judge comes back into the room. And the, the, during mediation, right, the only way really adults can pay each other back for doing stuff is money, right? I, I really don't care. You know, I want justice for my child, but of course, because the only way adults do things is with money, you know what I mean? It's not like we can go fight in the street, you know, because that's just not okay. So they come back into the room and they're like, mm, we're, not, we're not doing anything. I mean, they don't, this case isn't worth anything to us. And then they said, kids will be kids. Girls will be girls. I mean, they're just a bunch of kids. So I take it maybe that's what they were laughing at. You know, that's probably, maybe that was what they thought was funny. Maybe that's what they thought was funny. Kids will be kids. But in order, now this is this is the thing, this is the crazy thing I want y'all to really understand as a parent. The crazy thing that I learned during this whole this case, this everything that they're talking about, I'm sitting there listening to the judge and I'm hearing the what the lawyers have to say from the other side. If we can't find a pattern that these hooligans, these demons were doing this to other kids or it happened to other children. My child won't matter. It's just the, oh my God, it just, it just happened. It's just one kid. It was an oversight. It's just one kid. So I mean, okay, we're gonna pay attention to one kid, whatever. So my child, what happened to her only matters if it happened to five, six, seven other kids until it's a serial rapist. Are, are, you, are you, is that what y'all expect me to believe like that? So parents have to understand when they send their kids to school that unless a serial somebody attacks a bunch of kids, if it happens to one child, it doesn't matter. It's just a oversight. It's just a, we can break that off real quick. Nothing happened. The principal, Trace Crossing Elementary School in Hoover, Alabama, 2017-2018, put out a report. 
before saying that there were no incidents that year. You have to look that up too because it's in Alabama.com. I'm just saying. No incidents that year. So my daughter's not even an incident. She's not an incident. Are you fucking kidding me? So I got to go find this other girl who called the radio, the, the news station on Alabama.com. Um, and it was on the news. Uh, AL 43, something like that. It was on the news around that time because they did a story about the whole thing. You can Google that as well. Um, this is like somebody called another child, another parent called and said, This happened to my child. This exact same thing happened to my kid. These group of hooligans were hazing these girls touching them inappropriately, making them wear diapers. I don't know if this other child has special needs or not. I don't know. But I know that my child did not understand what was going on. She was scared and did not know. She was being threatened every day. Just the thought of her trying to understand why these kids would gather around her in a wooded area and torture her every day. One day she came home and she came out of that school. Y'all, I jumped out of that car so fast. I was like, what the hell happened to her? She looked like someone literally drug her through the woods. I y'all know I don't ever have my kids' hair out. I don't believe in that because hair, people touching your hair and stuff like that, mm-mm. No, it may just be a black thing. I have no idea. But superstitious like that. So I keep her hair tied. And it was completely out. I mean her hair is down to her waist and it was literally like everywhere. Yeah. So I know she didn't get that by playing on the swing. And then they finally send me a letter at school, from school saying, you know, I mean, I let they finally call me and they're like, um, yeah, we need to talk to you because this, this, that, and other happened. And these kids admitted to it. So I'm not saying that they don't believe it happened. I'm just saying that they don't give a damn. And the principal at the end of it all, after she was hazed and we finally you know, moved her to another class because we could not find another school to put her in. Every school was, was all the private schools were completely booked. There was no place that we could find short notice to put her in. So we had to finish out the freaking school year at this hell hole. I had to sit in that school every day during lunchtime with her while the two, the t her teacher and one of the girl's mother who works there, one of the kid's mother who works there, hmm, was sitting there chit-chatting and talking to each other. Come to find out that they actually knew that one of the kids had a problem because it's not the first time that she had assaulted someone else in their own neighborhood. So somebody knew something, but because it did not happen to another child at that school, sucks to be you. Special needs children need support. Just because a child doesn't present to have a severe level of any you know um mental problems or any emotional problem just because you can't see it and you think that oh they're, they're just as neurotypical as everybody else no mm -mm. because you have no idea where on the spectrum that child is how that child um internalizes information how she interprets information how she deals with things. 
You don't know that. The child's parents does. The doctors do. So I'm telling you this because even as much as we pay attention to our children, and I did, I knew something was wrong. I knew something was wrong. I wrote letters. I talked to the IEP person, her, the, the whoever handles the her um her autism program or what I spoke all the time. But then teacher, she comes up to me, she's like, Oh, your daughter, she's just it's impossible. She doesn't want to play with the kids. She doesn't want to, oh, there's this group of girls that we that she, you know, never wants to play with them. They always want to play with her. But I always keep telling, just to go, leave me alone. Just go and play with them. This is what she she told my daughter, stop bothering me about it. Go play with the kids. Who in the world forces somebody to play with somebody? That doesn't make sense. Especially when you know. The, the mother of one of the children that you told her to go back and play with, you knew that this child assaulted someone else in their neighborhood because you and her mama friends, so don't you come and tell me you don't know. Don't you sit there and say that you don't know, that you never knew. Mm, that's a whole other video. <sighs> School year is coming up, guys, and I just want y'all to understand and to be careful because you know this immunity with teachers it's a big fucking deal y'all it's a big deal something could happen to your child and and they they say well you know I got 39 kids to look after like shit just it happens my bad now we gotta pay a buttload of money to send them across town. It's a better school. But still, my child does not matter at this point. The insurance companies, the school board found it funny. They just sat out there and they were laughing and they were like, we just kids. I mean, why are we even here? This case is worth like nothing. This is like, I don't know. This is like, I don't know. Give them their lawyer fee. Give them $500. I mean, this, I mean, it was, I was like, wow. So if we had come in here with 30 kids, then y'all would have been like, okay, well, you know, maybe we got a problem. One child don't matter. So no, I'm not in a good place. I'm trying to be, but um, just pray for us, y'all, and and keep an eye on your kids. Talk to them when something's not right. When you feel something's not right, it's not. It's not. Please share this video. Tag Trace Crossing Elementary School, Hoover, Alabama as much as you can because these people need to understand that they are full of shit yes they are full of shit